Hey everyone, okay, so as promised, I'm back after the impromptu unboxing at the gym to talk about the uh, Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros right here. What I like and don't like about them so far, and also I said we were going to compare them with the uh, Liberty 2 Pros that have been my favorite headphones now for the past year and a half. So this isn't a full review by any means, but I want to compare it with the uh, Liberty 2 Pro as far as like just cosmetic differences and talk about the sound differences between the two and the Soundcore app. And then I'll, we'll also compare it a little bit to the uh, Edifier Neobuds Pro that I also got just recently. But before we get to that, I just want to put a big shout out to Caged Muscle. I've been very blessed to be a Caged Muscle innovator and ambassador. If you guys have been following my YouTube channel or my Instagram, You'll know that my main job is a personal trainer. I've been working as a certified personal trainer for over 19 years. You could say I'm pretty good at it as I'm the master trainer at my gym. It all boils down to helping my clients get the best results in the fastest, most efficient, and most importantly, safest possible way for them to reach their health and fitness goals. That means using effective, scientifically based workout programs that I, along with many others have tested and used with excellent results. That's why I use and endorse caged muscle supplements as they too are the safest, most effective and cost efficient nutritional supplements that you can get today. Caged muscle uses only the most premium patented all natural ingredients, third party lab tested verified for quality, verified safe for sport, no artificial flavors, fillers, or banned substances, and the most effective doses on all their products. Check them out at www.cagedmuscle.com and use coupon code THEWORKOUTGEEK15 to save 15% off your purchase. And if you're in the military or a first responder, you can save even more. While you're there, check out their training and nutrition tips, articles, and videos. Again, Check them out at www.cagedmuscle.com. Save 15% off your purchase with the code THEWORKOUTGEEK15. So without any further ado, um, let's get started. So we're going to try to go over a few things here besides the physical comparisons and also the sound. First up, let's go over uh, the unboxing experience between all three of these. So here is the Edifier Neobuds Pro. This is their 25th anniversary edition packaging. I'm pretty sure for their other headphones it's not going to be quite like this but for Soundcore at least for their high-end like their Pro Series, the Liberties, uh, they've always been pretty well packaged like this. This is like pretty standard. So here is the uh, Liberty 2 Pro's packaging. And then here is the Liberty 3 Pro. And as you can see, there's um, they made some changes in the boxes. It's more compact now and uh, slightly thinner and smaller. And like I said, for the Edifier, I'm not sure this is going to be atypical. This is probably just because it's their anniversary edition, 25th anniversary edition. But out of the box, or yeah, unboxing, the Edifier has probably the best unboxing experience. And that doesn't even include that it has it. This came with the gift box um, inside of another box. And uh, so, if you guys haven't seen my unboxing of the Edifiers, you can check it out in my channel. I'll put a link in the description below. But see, when you open it up, you get a uh, right here. It says Edifier 25th since 1996. And when you lift it up, you get this nice little like almost like sound dampening foam. Just like what you would have in a recording studio or something. And then up top here was the earbuds. And then you get all these tips. Like way more than anyone could ever ask for. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. Including the ones that were already installed on the uh, Neobuds Pro. So like seven altogether. And then on top of that, underneath here... You get your usual manuals and stuff like that. A 25th anniversary edition card. And, and on the back you get the high res audio. Which we will compare with the Liberty 3 Pros in a little bit. And then right here is another uh, 
like a carrying pouch. And you also get the USB-C cord, which uh, I don't know where I put it. Uh, I'm, I probably took it out because I'm, I might be using it at work. So, yeah. So, out of the box, you could say, no pun intended. Yeah, the Edifier had the best unboxing. And then, as far as the two Liberties from Soundcore, the Liberty 3 and the 2... They're pretty comparable. They're about the same. It just depends on your preferences. Um, I probably like I'll probably edge toward the Liberty 3 Pro a little bit because on the uh, on the 2 Pro, this is how it comes in. It it still opens up like a book or a flap, where the case is right here on the bottom, and then you got the uh, earbuds up top there, and they also have you know like all the features and descriptions here. Anchor always has a good presentation with that see telling you about the technology and the features same thing here and uh did the uh neo butts yeah the neo butts has the features up top here and also here all other all, all are all your specs and features and stuff like that with the lhdc um codec <clears throat> and like I said, we'll talk about that in the sound section in a little bit, but not get too detailed into it. Okay, so with the 2 Pro, you can't really see what you have out of the gate other than the head, the earbuds and the charging case. The uh, tips are all like underneath. So right here you got all your instruction manuals. Don't, don't mind the Fusion ones. I put them in there with the... Uh, those are also dual driver earbuds that we took a look at before. Here on this channel, see here are all the um, ear tips for the um, for the Liberty 2 Pro. So out of the box, <laughs> you probably got more ear tips with the uh, Liberty 2 than you did with the uh, Liberty 3. So with the Liberty 3, you get one, two, three, four sizes of ear tips. And remember, they're not pre-installed out of the box. They want you to try out the tips and find the best fit for you. The Liberty 2 Pros already had like I think medium sized ear tips pre-installed out of the box. And then you get these other sizes right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more. So seven in total on the ear tips. And then uh, three sizes of ear wings. Or four actually because there's also the ones that are already on the uh, earbuds themselves. And uh, same thing here, you get four uh, ear wings or wedges, whatever you want to call them. And then three sizes of, or four sizes of ear tips. So you get more with the uh, Liberty 2 Pros as far as uh, more customizations and finding that perfect fit than you do with the Liberty 3s. And then as you guys know, the instruction manuals and USB-C cables are all here on the sides. So they made it more compact. So that is presentation right there. Um, so I do like the Edifiers the best, but that's because this is their 25th anniversary packaging. And then the Liberty 3 Pros, and then the uh, Liberty 2 Pros as far as presentation and unboxing. But the Edifier wins on more options out of the gate as far as finding that fit. And then the Liberty 2 Pros, and then the Liberty 3s. Now for the physical comparisons. So first up is, is their cases. So as you can see, the Liberty 3 Pros have gotten the case has gotten much smaller they say around 20 i think it's 20 percent smaller and in both uh diam in both width and in thickness as you can see so it's going to be much more pocketable and then compared to the edifier the edifiers is a little smaller as far as like in circumference or diameter but it's going to be a little bit chunkier or, or thicker on this part right here on uh what is it yeah as far as thickness goes the edifier is still going to be a little bit thicker the edifier has this nice uh this is aluminum it feels cold to the touch with this accent right here and then it the it has this led strip right here which looks like night rider for all you older guys and gals as you can see 
the both sound core cases have the three white LEDs in the front to tell you um, how much charges that the cases have. And then they're both wireless, Qi wireless charging compatible here on the bottom, whereas the Edifier is not. And then they both have USB-C and then this uh, reset button right here. But Anchor or Soundcore thankfully removed this uh, pesky, kind of annoying uh, USB-C flap right here if you want to charge your uh, case. They're all USB-C as far as for charging, as you can see, no pun intended. Now, as far as opening the cases, I love the way Soundcore has done... Um, well, first of all, this, uh, the other difference here up top is now they don't have the Soundcore name. They just have the silver uh, Soundcore logo, which is pretty nice. And then they got this uh, plastic-like silver accent, which makes it look more premium compared to Soundcore's um, the Liberty 2 Pro. Opening them up, I like how Soundcore does this with the uh, little slider to open it and close it. It's really nice. And uh, it seems more robust and more sturdy. And this kind of opening system will guarantee that you won't open it by accident. Like you would say for something like this. Which if it's in your bag or some other like a backpack or your gym bag. And it gets mixed in with other or gets caught with other stuff. It might be you know it might open up by accident. Although this one does not look like. The edifiers don't look like it might open up by accident. So that's pretty nice. Like I said, it has that LED strip right here that goes back and forth to tell you how much charge is and everything it has. And it also tells you um, if you're actually charging your uh, earbuds. So when you put these into the case, if, it, if you don't see that red LED for what side it's on, that probably means it's not charging. Although... While I'm doing it right now, it, it's not the light's not coming up. It's probably because they're already charged. So as you can see right there. So like I said on the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros, the LEDs are just right here on the front. And um, that's it. But the uh, Liberty 3 Pros, the, you also get LEDs on the inside, as you can see right there, to tell you that the... Uh, earbuds are actually getting charged so that's pretty nice and it, it also tell you when they're pairing up when the lights flash okay one more thing to check on on these cases is uh, how well they hold the earbuds in place this might not be a fair comparison because of the fact that um out of all three of these i have memory foam ear tips that i ordered from comply on the Anchor Liberty 2 Pro and also on the uh, Edifier. Liberty 3 Pro has its stock ear tip. So that might kind of like mess with the uh, testing that we're going to do. As far as how they're able to get held into the case. Because the memory foam ear tips kind of are more... They're more dense than the silicone tips. And so when you put it into the cases, uh, it will kind of like interfere a little bit with... Uh, how well they get held into the case by those magnets. So first up, uh, the edifier. That's not bad. I, I thought they were going to fall off. Especially because these are stem style, stem style ear, uh, earbuds. And that's not really my thing. But we'll talk about fit and comfort later on. Liberty 3's. That's pretty good. And then the Liberty 2s. Okay, so they all pass the uh, the shake test as far as keeping the uh, the cases, keeping them in with the magnets. So they all, the, all the magnets do a good job, at least on my test, with uh, keeping the earbuds inside of the case and not letting them fall off. So now let's do the uh, physical comparisons and also, you know, wear and comfort. Okay, so right now I have all 
right the right ear earbuds and by right I mean the right side or the right ear for your right ear on all of these uh, earbuds to compare them and as you can see the Liberty 2 Pros are probably the biggest out of all of them as far as like actual size followed by the uh Edifiers and the edifiers would probably would probably be smaller if it didn't have the stem right here or the edifier would be the smallest if it didn't have the stem and then the um, Liberty 3 Pro is second and comparing the two Soundcore products on the 3 Pro I like how even though it is more of a fingerprint magnet than the um, Liberty 2 Pro this now has touch controls right here Whereas the um, Liberty 2 Pro has the uh, buttons right here up top, which I wasn't very fond of because I, I can never like get the buttons or find the buttons and stuff like that. I had a hard time looking for uh, finding, feeling out the buttons. The other nice thing with the Liberty 3 Pro is it's got this gold or copperish accent right here. <sighs> Am I playing something? Wow. What is that? Okay, the Liberty 3 Pro was actually playing a YouTube video as soon as I removed it out of the uh, case. Yeah, it's got that copper accent and you actually, I don't know if my camera can pick it up. So you guys can see that it has that Astra coaxial uh, naming conv or on the uh, right here on the copper or gold piece, which is really nice. And then now the uh, the left and right uh, indicators, markers, are easier to see on the uh, Liberty 3 Pro because of that red um, accent right there. Whereas the uh, left one has the plain white like right, right there. So just by looking um, at them, you don't have to read it. It's like, is this the left or is this the right? Because now the right one ha is in red. As you can see right here with the left side, see? The left side is just plain. On the 3 Pro, while the uh, the right side has the right R on it in red, so you could tell which one is which. The edifier is the same thing. Well, you can see it right here. It says it on the uh, stem. It also has it right there for the left. But as far as looks go, I like the uh, Liberty 3 Pros. It's got that, other than, see, it already got smudges. This color is that it's almost like a pearl black color and it, it, it will shift. Um, it'll look differently, like depending on where the light shines and hits the earbuds which is really nice it's almost like pearl or, or marble type of look so it gives it a more premium look and design now as far as comfort goes especially because these earbuds like i mentioned before i usually wear earbuds to the gym mostly to the gym and then i use headphones at home so or when i'm out and about i use earbuds and when i'm at home i use the my headphones so for comfort it's going to be the liberty 3 pro they are the most comfortable out of all the three and then the liberty 2 pro and then the uh edifier as far as comfort wearing comfort yeah because the edifier every time i'm working out i always feel like they're going to fall off and i have to adjust them and when i did a shake test on these they did when i shook my head pretty hard they did come off and that's because it doesn't have these these wings right here now I think on the uh, the two liberties I ended up with the large wings as you can see this one it doesn't say L or small or large it just says three so three is I think is the biggest one at least it looked like it was the biggest one and um, and then uh, I, I have uh, the medium 
uh, ear tips. I always use, I always like, like I said before, the medium, usually the stock tips or mediums, they always fit me, my ears right out of the box. And like I said, I replaced the silicone tips on the uh, Anchor Liberty 2 Pro and the Edifier with some memory foam tips from Comply. But even with the silicone tips, it's very comfortable, much more so than the uh, Liberty 2 Pros. And as far as like for wearing them for working out, this is going to be the best one, the Liberty 3s. Probably because it's, and then the Liberty 2 Pro, and then the Edifier. Like I said, it's it's because of this stem that it feels like it's going to fall off. And there's no wing. Even with my other earbuds that are not these three, like the uh, like the Sound Peats right here, which is also a dual driver earbud. These tips or these wings make a big difference of holding them into your ears. On that little groove outside of your ears or the inside of your ears by the ear canal. And this is better than the two, be, probably because it's smaller and lighter. It, it doesn't, it's not as heavy, so it's going to hold better into the ears. And the first time I did that shake test on video with the um, Liberty 3 Pros, I was wearing a stock wing that it came out of the box, which was, I think, a medium. And even with the medium, which wasn't my perfect fit on the, on the wings, it still stayed in my ears. But then once once my ears started getting sweaty, um, I, I felt like I had to adjust them a little bit. But then once I got to the, the larger wing right here, I noticed a, better, a much better improvement in not only in the fit, but also in the uh, noise canceling and uh, ear canal seal. So once I got the perfect ear wing on and the, the, the size tip, I did a, a re, I retested the Hear ID and the um and the ear canal test to um get me much better sound and now since we are talking about the sound let's talk about them sound is purely subjective as you guys all know no one no two ears are the same although some people may have preferences in like say what type of music or like if they have a preference for bass heavy or are more into mids and vocals and things like that but as far as the most balanced out of the box without any EQ or any tuning and everything like that, it's the threes. Much more so than the uh, Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros. The two Pros were really bass heavy, and which I didn't mind because I'm a bass head at heart. And then the uh, edifiers are also the next most balanced. So as far as what I feel right now sounds the best to me, to my ears, it's the uh, Liberty 3 Pros. And here's why. LDAC. LDAC makes a big difference with the sound quality on the Liberty 3 Pros, especially if you have a wired premium, like wired streaming account, like say if you stream your music in like Tidal with their master quality authenticated music files, man, you get really, you really, really, really can tell the difference. Even more so than the um, Edifier Neobuds Pro, because this also has LDAC, and it also has LHDC. This actually, the Neobuds Pro just got the LDAC um, firmware update not too long ago, maybe about three weeks ago. I just got, uh, it just, like when I opened up the Edifier app, it just, um, it just came in and it said that you can upgrade now to LDAC. It had the LDAC uh, update, so really good for uh, Edifier for delivering on their promise that it would have um, LDAC um, support in a few future firmware update, which is really nice because <clears throat> Anchor, you guys know and you guys promised that you were going to have the transparency mode update for your Liberty two pros which never came out I, they till this day they still don't have transparency mode even though they said they were going to have transparency for the um, liberty two pros as a matter of fact they now have a liberty two pro plus which has the transparency mode so is it in the software or is it in the hardware that th you didn't have the hardware necessary to make these get transparent mode because I've had like three or four updates since I've owned the Liberty 2 Pros and still no update or firmware to get it to have to get it to have transparency mode whereas now these 
two right here, the Liberty 3 Pro and the uh, Edifier both have uh, transparency out of the gate. But yeah, um, LDAC makes a big difference and it sounds way better on the uh, 3 Pros than it does with the uh, Edifier. That LDAC makes a big difference and if you guys could see right now, so I don't know if you guys could see, but since the first day I've gotten my Liberty 3 Pros, you uh, it can't it had two firmware updates. One was to update the app or the settings or whatever, and then the next update updated it to LDAC for you guys for us to be able to use the LDAC for those of us that have the uh, Liberty 3 Pros. And so since that time, I've always been my preferred sound mode has been LDAC. Even on the Edifier Connect app, I prefer to use LDAC. But the LDAC on this is more pronounced than on the Edifier Neobuds Pro for some reason. And uh, this video is probably getting too long. So in summary, the Liberty 3 Pros sound the best, have the best sound quality. Next is the Neobuds Pro and then my Anchor Liberty 2 Pros. For comfort, I prefer these. Although I could I could wear the uh, Neobuds Pro just because it sounds good and has the ANC with um, transparency mode. So when there are people in the gym that need to get a hold of me, like say I have a client looking for me while I'm working out, um, I, I'll I'll use these two right here. As far as volume goes, the Liberty Two Pros are the loudest out of all three of these. They're just like a tad bit like on these two the. The Neobuds Pro from Edifier and the Liberty 3 Pro, I can put whatever I, which device I listen to, whether it's my tablets, my laptop, or my smartphones, whichever smartphone I have, the S21 Ultra or my LG phones, I could put them on full volume and it won't bother me for a bit before turning it down. On the Liberty 2 Pros, if I put it on full volume, I have to take them off real quick or turn the volume down right away because these get pretty loud. They're like two, like say steps up in volume, at least two steps, maybe one and a half steps from the Liberty, uh, from the Liberty 3 Pro and two steps above the uh, edifier as far as volume goes, as far as like, you know, when you um, hit the volume and it goes up in little steps. The twos are the loudest as far as volume goes. Battery wise, the Anchor does have the best battery. when all things being equal, like use this in balance uh, connection and sound quality mode and using this without noise cancellation and um, without the high res audio. These two have pretty comparable battery life. I, I got just over and my time from using these now because since I've had them for a while, um, just over a little over eight hours. With high res audio, this is still pretty good, like almost five hours. Where with LDAC on this, I got just a little bit over four hours. And by just a little bit, I mean just like a few seconds, maybe a minute over four hours with the uh, Liberty 3 Pros. So battery life, um, with all things being equal and you're not using ANC and you're not using high-res audio, which uh, the, uh, the Liberty 2 Pros don't have high-res audio. The Liberty 2 Pros give the longest battery life and then the Edifier, and then the uh, Liberty 3 Pros as far as battery life. For high res audio, um, the Edifier has the most battery, and then the Liberty 3 Pro, at least for now, as far as from what I'm testing. App-wise, um, Soundcore wins all day in the app selection, or in the app in general. The Soundcore app is way more, has way more features, and has way more tons of settings than the Edifier Neobuds Pro app. And it's more polished, in that sense, um, the Hear ID on this Liberty 3 Pro is much better than the Hear ID on the Anchor. Uh, the testing was different on the Anchor. The testing for the Hear ID is that you had to keep your like your finger pressed on the screen until you can't hear the sound anymore. On this one, on the 3 Pro, it just asks you, can you hear this sound? You just hit yes and no. I think that's much better as far as sound tests than the uh, 3 Pro, which made it more accurate. Because if on the 2 Pro, if you're listening for the sound or for that sound that it wants you to hear and it's too noisy, you might not be able to hear it no more. Even if it's just a little bit noisy in your room. So it's gotta be perfectly quiet for you to use the sound test on this. Whereas this one, it doesn't have to be that quiet. And also on this, the 3 Pro, is it? it'll actually tell you because it checks the audio level in the room that you're in to see if it's suitable for testing here ID or not. 
And then also the here ID A and C on this one will tell you if the room is noisy enough or not. Because for here ID A and C where it tests your ear canals, you have to be in, no in, a, in a noisy environment to for it to give you the best um, here ID A and C um, out of active noise cancellation. I'll get into more details on the app and how to walk through in the full review on these Liberty 3 Pros. So did I miss anything else? So that is it. Um, yeah, um, this is now my new favorite, the uh, Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro. As far as for wearing and comfort, I could wear this for a long time. The, uh, as far as ear pressure goes, some people complained about the Liberty 2 Pro having air pressure and the ear fatigue. I haven't experienced it too much on the 2 Pro. I did feel it a little bit on this one, probably because of the noise cancellation. I have not tested audio quality as far as calls go on this one yet because I don't really like taking calls on my earbuds. Like I said, I use them for working out, and when I work out, I'll, I'll sometimes put it in um, airplane mode so that uh, I don't um, get any interrupted calls like the calls interrupting my music when I'm working out. So I have yet to test the audio quality for phone calls and things like that on this one too. I've just had this for two days, so that's why this is not a full review, just a comparison and what I like so far. Let's go by cons that I don't like. The number one con I didn't like with this is that when I first uh, opened up the Soundcore app, it couldn't find uh, the Liberty 3 Pros. I had to like on a couple of my tablets, the S7 and the uh, Lenovo, I had to uninstall the Soundcore app and then reinstall it for the uh, Sound Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros to show up because it was only trying to look for the um, Liberty 2 Pros. So that was the main con and then the hassle of trying to set it up to look for the uh, 3 Pros and yeah, that was the only con was looking for them otherwise after that the app was good to go to, you know doing all the testings and everything it can take quite a while and if you just want to get up and running these two would probably be better but if you want the best sound right away you're going to want to you know do do the hearing id and the anc test and everything like that then these take a little bit more time so those are the two negatives setup takes longer with the um liberty 3 pro and also the app yeah, so if you own a previous device like the Soundcore Life Q30 or the Q20 or like I that I have and the uh, Liberty 2 Pros, it'll look for those devices. And when you try to look for the 3 Pros, at least in my end, um, it couldn't find the Liberty 3 Pro right away or it wasn't in the selection as far as picking uh, the uh, earbuds or headphone to uh, pair with. So like I said, I had to uninstall it, the app first, the Soundcore app, and then reinstall it. And then it had the uh, Liberty 3 Pro in the selection menu for me to pair it with the Soundcore app. So that was the biggest con that I didn't like. And then the setup process took a little bit longer than I like. With those cons out of the way, those two cons, the pros, and what I like about them the most right now, as far as day two or the two days that I've been, that I've had the Liberty 3 Pros, number one is the sound. Straight off the bat, this these these are the best sounding earbuds that I have tested. Uh, for clarity, for sound stage, for if you're a bass head, you'll love the bass head, the bass on this. And uh, the Hear ID is much better. So now my default sound signature is actually here idea where on the uh, liberty 2 pros and my life q30 and q20s i usually put it on acoustic to get the most sound but on the liberty 2 pros i usually i have it on here id and then my next favorite on the liberty 3 pros is the bass booster so this is more detailed and clearer than the um liberty 2 pros but i think the liberty 2 pros have more bass and then this is like in between these two. The edifier is in between the sound core and the um, the two sound cores as far as the, the sound goes. As far as how their sound goes as far as bass and vocals and mids and highs and things like that. And then lastly, um, you can't forget yeah, and one of the big pluses on this too is multi-pairing. This is the only one that I have that can multi-pair. I, I actually even with my headphones that are wireless this is one of the only few that can do multi pairing and what that means is you can have the bluetooth on this the edifier is supposed to be able to do it but it's not it's very clunky and and still not automatic with the uh liberty 3 pro i could actually have it paired with my samsung s21 ultra and then my nephew 
could actually use the uh, Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros with his iPhone and switch back and forth between his iPhone and my S21 Ultra as far as going from, you know, from device to device. This is the only one that has that. So it doesn't even have to be Android. It could be Android and iPhone with the uh, Liberty 3 Pros. So yeah, that is the uh, the comparisons and the uh, what I like so far with the Liberty 3 Pros. Um, full review will be coming, I want to say soon, but you guys know me. I want to take my time, make sure I get the best and most detailed content for you guys out there. So that is that. So this has been our look at what I like so far, day two. So not a full review on the uh, Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros and um, the comparisons as far as like, you know, feature comparisons and highlights uh, or spec comparisons between the 2 Pro, the 3 Pro and the Edifier Neo Buds Pro. If you guys got any value and been informed and entertained, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, everybody take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.